Edwards. One of the questions that I am asked most often is, can we see your office? Can we see more about your office? How are you organizing stuff? And I think that I kept thinking that I was going to get it all organized and all clean. And that's just, <laughs> that doesn't seem to happen. So I'm gonna give you a little tour today just so you can get a sense of what's happening in the office and the way um, that I have set things up to work for me. And, you know, just a little story, my office has been an evolution over years and years in different houses and different places. I've always worked from home um, in this job and the setup that I have right now works awesome. Um, for me, it's a bonus room in our house that has just become my office. So let's go take a look. All right, so you get to my office via a long hallway here. And as you can see right now, this is a project, an upcoming project, is getting a bunch of things framed and up on the wall. Small bookshelf here that has some of some books that I like, some books that the kids come and find. I've got this um, setup happening right here where I am taking like extra photos when I when I don't use a photo for a project for one reason or another, I have to reprint it. I've just been putting up them up on the wall and that's been a really fun um, way to use some of those other things. And then we come right into the office here. So this office space, it actually used to go, this is a new wall that we put up when we did a big renovation here um, to be able to create an extra bedroom. So behind that wall there is now a bedroom that didn't used to be there. This, um, we'll start here just with the lockers. These lockers I've had for years and years and they have a variety of different things in them. Some of them, some of it's camera equipment, some of it's packaging. Um, some of it is random, you know, office supply sorts of things that all get put into those lockers, but that's been a great way to, uh, store stuff for me. Uh, you can see lights. Lights are a recent addition in here, there, as well as that ring light, um, as well as this camera mount that is now mounted to the ceiling that you can see up there. That was something that Aaron actually gave me, um, for Christmas. And so that holds my big camera to be able to do shooting down onto my table there. Let's talk a little bit about those tables. Those tables are from Ikea, they're kitchen islands. There are two of them back to back. So each side has the drawers as well as the shelf space there. We'll come to the other side and show you that here on this side. I usually work on this side, it's just my preference. And this side often just becomes, um, Oh, a holding place for stuff because that's how that's how that works. Um, let's go around the room here. We've got, this is a pink couch that I found at Goodwill a number of years ago. I think it was $25. And this pink couch we talk about getting rid of, we talk about keeping it, it's still here now. Often it is filled with stuff. It's not filled with stuff today because I did some filming sitting on the couch um, earlier. I've got a bunch of artwork and different things that I've collected over the years um, above that couch, which I love, so it may stay. Uh, let's see, let's come back here. Another thing on this side, we'll go around the other side of the room. Uh, these are shelves that were built into the wall there. There's like a um, under the eaves sort of thing behind there. And those shelves were custom built to be able to hold my albums. And you can see that they're kind of bursting out of there as well. More photo stuff around. Um, but they, they've worked great for that. But you don't have to have built-ins. One of the things that's also awesome are these rolling shelves from Ikea. I think they're called Calyx now. They used to have a different name. These ones hold all of my bunch of six by eight albums there, which are, some of them are empty. Some of them are just products that we have, um, that I'm just have in a holding place. And then some of them are kid ones. Um, variety of different things, some paper um, holding there. I have lots of cats, so I have a litter box in here, which is not awesome, but <laughs> it is what it is. I have a little tea set up here too, hot water and tea. Uh, one of my Project Life albums sits on the top here. I think that this is the second half of 2018, I think is what that is. So I have 
some things in there, but it's not finished. So I leave it right there for when I have time to work on it. Let's see more of those same Calyx Ikea shelves over here. Uh, mine are on rollers, which I love because we can move them around really easy. And you can see um, right above that wreath right there, that's a door that goes into a um, storage space that's under the eaves and we do store stuff back there. So being able to roll these carts or these shelves um, is a super practical um, application for me. The plastic shelves or the past plastic organizers that are inside of here, um, I have had these for years and years and years. And I literally, like, I don't know how long I've had them. I ordered them originally from scrapbook.com and I looked on there recently. They have something similar. They're not exactly the same as these. What I am using all of these for right now, these plastic shelves, is for um, page protectors. So I have nine by 12, six by eight, and these are all organized by the number of pockets, then 12 by 12, and then some eight and a half by 11 over on the end. The albums that are down here below are my childhood photo albums from my parents, and so I'm kind of the, the holder of those. On this side here, I have um, a couple other Ikea pieces. These are, these don't go all the way back into the, um, the the full space of these shelves so they're just they're a little bit shorter but they're great if you need something like this i often use this for like it's storing day in the life stuff it's holding one little word stuff so when that comes time for me to work on each one of those projects i can just pull those out um right here it just works as a kind of a holding place for new product often for me um let's see next over here one little word projects down on the bottom. This is all photo paper right there for the Canon printer that sits on top. This is a, excuse me, a Canon Pixma MG7720. Um, that one I've been using for a number of years now. I believe that there is a updated version of that. Uh, I also have my sewing machine out over here on top of, of this shelf unit. Having it out makes me use it. Um, underneath the wreath, so that's a good example of something that needs to be put away, um, are, is my product Project Life album for 2019. I just finished April, and then um, the first half of 2018 is underneath there, and I'm almost done with the first half um, of last year. Those um, bags right there hold travel projects, and I'll be doing another travel product play workshop coming up in the next couple of months here with another uh, travel release. Then when you come over to this side, you can see here, um, those are also two tables from Ikea. Uh, Katie, who works with me, is here sometimes. She works from home more now um, than when we first started this. So you can see I have my two baskets for the cats, two of the cats anyway, like to sleep in here. Um, that is where I sit over there. These chairs, I believe we got on Amazon. The cats have scratched them because that's what cats do. Uh, but this is where I sit most of the time to work on the computer, to do a lot of um, video recording when I sit right there. That's my blogging microphone on top. I have a scanner there that I have, that I used to use all the time for my hand-drawn word art. Now I'm actually using um, an iPad, iPad Pro uh, with Procreate. And that's where I am adding on, you know, whenever I'm doing handwritten word art, it is coming from there and I'm able to translate it directly onto my computer. This is also my Epson PictureMate PM400. That's the four by six printer that I use um, all the time. Still totally love that. And then I have two more printers down below here. One of them is a inkjet or a, excuse me, a color laser printer. That's that one right there. And we use that for handouts for our workshops. You can also see my silhouette um, cameo on top of there that I use when I need it. And then I also have an Epson uh, SureColor P400 that prints up to 13 by 19. You can see it's open right now because it's waiting for um, some additional ink. I also have one of these drawer sets from Ikea right here that hold pens and other random things. Let's come back over to the table. I wanted to show you a little bit about um, product organization. 
right now. Uh, a couple things. The one of the things I love about this um, setup here with this table is that I love the drawers. So when you come over here, this is pretty much how I am storing my embellishments now. I did a big purge recently where I went in and um, organized things by type. And so what you'll see here is like I have one box is all circles, one box is all hearts, one box is all rubber shapes, rubber pieces, one box is words. Um, so there's a combination of different textures in there, wood veneer, um, other things, but things that are word based. And then I have one for chipboard. These little boxes are from Ikea. This is, I think, a box that Katie used at her wedding uh, on our table. I also have, um, uh, what is that, cork there in the back. I have plastic words right here. I have some washi tape there, and then these are numbers. In those two smaller ones, the, these are actually tops of those boxes from Ikea. I think Dragon, D-R-A-G-A-N is the name of, of those. These are stars in this one, and then a few just miscellaneous and these can kind of sit on top of different ones there. So when I am working, when I am standing here working at my table, um, I usually have this drawer open because this is where I'm accessing any sort of embellishments. Um, I also have boxes here on my table um, that I use for stories by the month is in one box, um, stickers that are organized by theme in another one. Um, these are cards, I believe, story cards. Some of the, there's a few chipboard pieces in there and then chipboard here. So again, these are boxes from Ikea that work great for storing that kind of stuff. I also have just my basic tools right there in that basket. A few rolling stamps, um, tiny attacher, the six hole punch, things like that in that basket. So generally this, I'm able to keep this space really clear. These are some leftover things from stuff I've been working on. Um, other things you'll find in these drawers, this one is kind of my adhesive drawer. So I have a variety of different adhesives at hand, um, metal rimmed circle tags. Uh, this is for the my trimmer and a couple of stamps um, in there. And then the next drawer over has um, inks, has embossing powder and it has paint. So any of that kind of crafty, creative, artsy stuff in baby wipes, um, those are all in there. I wanted to show you also a couple of things that I did recently. So below here, um, underneath the main part of the table, you can see that I have some baking trays. So this is a baking tray that I had the idea of what if I used baking trays that I could actually pull them out and then set them up on the table. And so right now this baking tray has stamps. So these were just some random wood boxes that actually inked had. It's not, we're not selling them. They were used as a promotional thing at one point in time, but I've been able to organize my stamps. So like I have travel and I have shapes and I have one little word and I have numbers and I have month, day, weekday, month. Um, and then December Daily in the back there. These ones are all story stamp subscription. And then down here right now, I just have one that I started, which is the everyday stories or everyday life kinds of things. Um, I have my snappy tray for embossing and a mat there. I have another box. I have some more of um, these trays because that was kind of, I was thinking, what if I could put things on a tray and then pull the tray out to be able to put it up there to use it my goal is to just not have a lot of stuff on top of there. Um, these baskets here, like this is a, these are a bunch of punches that I still have, still love, um, smaller punches, just a few things that I'll never give away or, or get rid of. And then this has some more stamps, some of the larger alphabet stamps and some number stickers there along the side. One of the things I wanna say as I'm going through looking at all of this stuff um, is that you may tell, I mean, my goal is not to keep everything. Like I don't want to have so much stuff that I am so overwhelmed that I can't even tell any stories because I spend all my time organizing my stuff. So for me, I go through my things regularly. Um, I have people that I share things with, um, the school, 
um, community friends, usually friends is a lot of what happens with me. Um, but I have found the less stuff I have, the less choice I have, which is actually a benefit to my own personal storytelling because I'm not spending all my time organizing or all my time going through all the stuff to find things that will exactly match the story uh, that I wanna tell. So that is a pretty basic look at my current setup here in my office. I'm happy to answer any questions if you have them. I'll try to put some sources uh, in below on this post. Um, we'll see, I'm not sure how many things are still available. Like I said, many things are things that I've had for a long time. And I think the number one most important thing for everybody is figuring out how your space can work for you, right? It's not looking at my space and, and wanting to try to um, do exactly what I do. Mine is, is like an in progress all the time. Is it working for me? That's the question that I'm always asking. Is it working for me? What's not working for me? Where can I make some adjustments to have it work better? Um, for, you know, as a space for what my intent is, which is to get more stories.